What's up? Pianists. My wife is naked under all her clothing. She's completely naked. And you know what? So am I. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta talk about something. We gotta talk about a serious problem, and it's this Michigan accent. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's springtime now. No, it's summertime now, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. <clears throat> Gosh, you know, it's really good to be consistent in your YouTube channels. Just a word of advice to all you aspiring YouTubers out there. Make sure you're doing it at least once every turn of the season. Anyway, so, yeah, we have to talk about this. So, there's been three occasions where I have genuinely not been able to understand what a person is saying because of their accent. And it's just kind of refreshing, you know? Because when I was living in Washington, everyone made fun of my accent. And every time I talked, every time I spoke, every time I opened my mouth, people would be like, so I'd be like, I'd be like telling them something. I'd be like, oh yeah, this, that, and that happened. And they'd be like, and I was like, you're not even listening to what I'm saying. You're just... You have never heard my accent before, which was weird because Washington is like just as close to Canada as Michigan is. So I don't understand why they are less judgmental here. It's probably because their accent is just as weird. So yeah, some of the funniest examples, I guess, was the other day I was at the store. I was at a, at like a little beer store like, that sells like cool craft beers and I overheard this conversation and this guy was talking about, I'm assuming he was talking about making beer cheese and it was like, he was like, yeah, but we don't use happy beer with the beer cheese because we, it's not good for the flavor and I'm sitting there and I'm going, happy beer? What's happy beer? And then he keeps going and he's like, yeah, because the haps just ruin it. The haps just ruin the flavor and I was like, Hops! Or like my own name, for example. So this one time me and Cece went to buy schnitzels <laughs> at the store. We got like some schnitzel sandwiches and we go up and the lady's like, who's it for? And I'm like, Thomas. She's like, what? <laughs> Thomas. What? <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> oh, Tamis. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Tamis. <laughs> funny thing about that is I've pointed that out to people, to friends of mine that I've made down here, like the way they say my name and how it, how funny it is. And they, first of all, they don't hear it, which I understand because I didn't hear the ooh in my abouts until mm. I came down here and then everyone started pointing it out and I was like, what are you guys talking about? I don't say a boot. I say about... And then I realized I throw a little bit of an oot in there at the end. And all Canadians do. Don't be mistaken. That's the funny thing. You know, you go back home and you're like, I've been talking to these guys. There was this guy at work at my last job and he was like, yeah, you know, I just don't think I got much of a Canadian accent. Like, I think that I'd blend right in if I went down there. And I was like, <laughs> bro, you got no idea. So I'll tell them how to say my name. Properly, and it's <laughs> It's the funniest thing to see them like try to say my name with the normal letter O sound. Like, I'm like, it's Thomas. They're like, T Thomas. <laughs> the other funny example was a friend Ethan was telling us about when he was a baby, he was saying that. Hey, he was having a hard time breastfeeding as a baby, and so his mom started feeding him salads. And we're both sitting there just going, salads? That's a really weird thing to feed a baby. And then he goes on and keeps telling the story, and he starts talking about his baby poop. And is like, yeah, and then my poop was, and I was just in my head, I'm like, was it green? Because you were eating salads? And then he was like, it was just really hard, and, and, and they realized they needed to feed me goat's milk or whatever, and I was like, solids, not salads. The last story, and this is probably the best one, was I was, our car kind of broke down a little while ago. I was hunting down the part, and I call this place in Muskegon, I think it was like Advanced Auto Parts, and I was like, hey, do you guys have this one part? And he goes, 
No, we don't have it here. You're going to have to check out a Shap and Apple Avenue. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm really sorry. What? What did you say? You got to go to our Shap and Apple Avenue. No, it's like... <laughs> I, I just I felt really bad, but I was like, I'm sorry, I I I they don't understand what you're saying. You have to check out our shop on Apple Avenue. And I was like, oh, the shop on Apple Avenue. Gotcha. It's horrible and contagious. It's contagious too. Yep, we're definitely catching on to it. Um, I think Gash and. Problem are probably the ones that I see That's the yours, most. The ones you say, the Michiganisms you've got. It is adorable. <laughs> it's endearing, and it is kind of inadvertently rubbing off on us, even though we swore it would not. We're gonna have such confusing accents. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we will. And our poor baby, she's gonna just be. Oh, it's a girl, by the way. We're having a little girl, and <laughs> it's she's coming in like up four weeks. in like four weeks. <laughs> Starting a separate vlog called Motherhood with Cece. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of baby stuff. This is my new studio. It's kind of fun. Um, we got lots of baby stuff. People have been super generous and aws generous. <laughs> generous. <laughs> I don't know if they've been generous. No, just kidding. People have been super generous. We got as our friend Monica put it, some Instagram friendly, <laughs> some some Instagram friendly toys. I have Lots of dis. We're, we're we're trying the we're trying the reusable diapers thing. What? Or are we not? No. Well, why do we have? Isn't this a reusable diaper? Uh, it shouldn't be. What's what is this thing? Okay, I guess we're not trying the reusable. I thought we were trying the reusable diaper thing. No, we don't have a laundry. Oh, that's right. We don't have a laundry machine right now. <laughs> this is all <laughs> from people who have just given us, given us clothes for our baby. I think this one is especially adorable. Look at this. Well, I don't know what to do now because I don't. <laughs> It fits <laughs> you got the cute little bonnet. <laughs> no, no, this is not the bonnet. <laughs> Definitely. Guys, oh my God. I'm not dressing the child.
that's enough of that. GC, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Error. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> that was adorable. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>